oyster shells that high, pile this high. These things are gruesome. The whole beach is oyster shells. You can imagine the storms that would do something like this. There's no storm today. Although, right out there is the fleet. And they're being hit with rain. Like, I can see it coming down. Visibility is zero beyond a certain point. Thank goodness it's going that way. Had I left with them, We'd be soaked, but this is my spot. I just love it. I could linger here forever. The lap of the waves, the birds, the minnows coming in. It's just beautiful. The squirt's raring to go. She's holding up very well. Oh man, this is beautiful. I would... Can't get my lee board down all the way. You didn't have a way to fix it, but uh, Dana from Remedy had a rasp file. I tried, we'll see. I've got to go on board, get my sunscreen on, get uh, togged up for the, for the day's trip. Haven't eaten anything. Have to figure out what to eat on the way. And uh, other than that, we're ready to go. She's doing well. She's doing real well. She's not as fast course as a camp cruiser with all the gear but she sure enjoys hanging out with big boys if I can ever catch up with them <laughs> I leave too late I could care less this is what I came for isn't this beautiful look at that look at that Aranzas Pass at night is over there all lit up There's the ferries and the bridge. Gorgeous place. Quarantine shore. Got a bit of farewell. Head out and I hope there's no uh, rain coming my way. Sure do. Wouldn't want that. I don't see any more coming. But it can pop up pretty quick. All right. Out. Less than two knots at this point. I'm like a dead man's reef. I'll be a dead man before I get there. <laughs> it might be hallucinating, but it looks like a little man riding little animals in those clouds. It'll be a long day. There's my boat speed. Got some wind. If it would just hold like this all day, we'd get somewhere. I keep telling myself it's going to. This big guy just came through. Dead man's reef cut. I'm headed for it right ahead. Filling through Dead Man's Reef. Probably don't need to thread the needle here, but kind of fun. And there's the island, the reef itself. Headed on. 
Spalding Reef next, I believe. today, but it won't be Army Hall. Coming to Toddler's Dugout. This is my first. Not much to see. Open I got the right line. I heard my uh, knee board kind of kiss the bottom back there. But I gotta have it down because I've got to go into the wind right after this, so no choice. Alright, here we go. Push me left. I'm watching my deal here. Spot another pole. Alright, I think I'm getting through this alright. Apparently three foot, four foot here. This is the tight, narrow spot. Had to uh, curl my jib because I am pinching it, pinching it to get up in here. Looks like uh, the schooner ran afoul of too much sail. They're over there on the bank. 31 foot boat. They know what they're doing though. They're tugging it on it now. Oh, let's dug out. Always wondered what it looked like. And it is narrow. And the wind uh, circles around this little land mass here and comes dead at you. It's deep enough for my lee board. I'm in good shape. Very cool. And here we go through the through the two poles. All right. Okay. Carlos dugout. I always wondered what it looked like. That's it. Coming into cedar dugout. Looking for any kind of marker pole. 
that shows the uh, beginning. We'll see if it is one. Looking for deep water too. Cut my board all the way down. Hope that's not dumb, but uh, coming out of it, I got to go into the wind. So I don't know what else to do. I'm right on my line. I'm just going to concentrate and uh, go for it. There's nothing here that's uh, going to tell you the depths. The wind messes up this water so badly you can't see it. To a calm, maybe. There's the shoreline. Thank goodness this boat pinches. And I got that leeboard fixed. It wouldn't go down more than halfway yesterday. Yep, this is it. And you can see how shallow it is. It's a little gap. On that side, there's a token dead fish to welcome you. That's what happens to you if you don't make it through. You lie there and rot. And here's the uh, reef. Cedar dugout. Doing fine. Doing this for the first time on my own. I thought I was going to follow the schooner through, but he ran afoul of the reef. As many times as he's done it, could be just too much sail, or the wind actually shifted. Right when you got to the critical part, it shifted and blew him down. I'm, okay, I'm up. <laughs> 72 years old, I don't just spring to my feet no more. Cedar dugout. It's a long one. And that's it. Except for now the tricky part is always the exit. Don't forget you got the exit. <laughs> and see the dugout is a pinch coming out of it. I jived twice, got up against the bank, and I look like I've got a line that I can just exit it. It's, uh, you can see the far bank there breaking. Little, little little wind waves. I'm exiting just fine here. There's the pole. I see the deep water straight ahead, so I'm comfortable I got it. Thank goodness squirt po points and the and the lee board sticks. Sorry about the jerking. Well, this is gonna be a long pound. The eye is dug out. I'm going to get out here and see about doing a tap to get a little off wind down to Ayers dugout. Or I'll just do it now. I think. I'm going to sail on down to Ayers now. We'll up to Ayers in this wind. Okay, I got a better line to Ayers. Quite a fetch here. This is just a uh, squirt size. No bigger, please. <laughs> Wouldn't be pleasant. It would be doable, but not pleasant. Cut out. More telltale signs you're in the right spot. did hear something, just a tiny, tiny scrape. Here we go. Hug the bank. I think we're good. Oh, my lee board's up. Ah! I looked over and my, my lee board was out. I didn't have a lee board. So this is the IA cut. I'm gonna get over and hug this bank. That's, that's where we're going over, oyster, oyster reef. There's an oyster reef. This side, pleasant. Deep. Little island. Birds.
Greetings, guys. Oh, they're busy. <laughs> you're intent on doing whatever it is you're doing down there in the bilge. <laughs> Have fun, man. Yeah. Beautiful place. Guys, it's shallow, as you can see, all along over here. Oh, don't tell me I'm fishing again. One of the peculiar things as you exit these islands. They're heating up to Panther Reef Cup. Just left Ayers Reef. my umbrella but there is no way you're gonna use an umbrella anyway so I have a plan I get two umbrellas put lanyards on them dummy <laughs> not your typical trimaran right she really spreads the water not much comes in except when dummy Eric doesn't release the main in time miles to go. Won't be long. Won't be long. Squirt's a champ. Look at this stone chop. What happened to the off-wind sailing, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, too high, too high. at the back. Trim is not important. Bow up, bow up. It squirts pretty fast in these conditions. Considering what she's going through. Lots of boats up that direction. We got a secret pass. I'm not going to try it. Panther Reef cuts pretty narrow, it's the ICW. Don't intend to go across a reef with my board and skeg and all that in this in this blow. If it was calmer, I'd go investigate. Alright. You get the drift. Pelicans are flapping. <laughs>
Such a cool boat. I don't think I could ever sail a little monohole like these guys do. This thing, I just let it go. <laughs> Every now and again, he buries too deep and I've got to loose the main. I'm done for the day. I'm not going to go the next 10 miles, 6 plus o'clock. Take me a couple hours. I don't feel like getting in that close to dark. Besides, I don't think there'll be anywhere to put my boat. This, I've always wanted to stay on a desolate island. This is desolate. Used to have buildings on it. Swept clean. Hurricanes. Find a place to go in here. Beautiful little spot. Stop for the night. It's like a little cove up in there. I like it. I've been doing so much pinching today, it's not funny. Bird refuge. Do not land or enter. Ah! Oh, be darned. Well, lucky birds. Let me uh, figure out where I am coming out of here. Alright, little don't hit spot over there. I might try that beach over there if I can get to it. It's due into the wind, but I can tack back. Oh, I see boats. I do believe it's a long way off, but I believe I see boats. Okay, out. One more time. South Pass. Here comes Dreadnought through. left South Pass and I am uh, headed for Hidden Pass. That's what that little body is there. We've got uh, a couple boats there. It was a camp last year. I wasn't able to go there. Well, I never made it to Texas 200. Turned around in San Antonio with Vertigo. So this is a, a easy point on, for squirt straight into the wind. <laughs> and I should make it on one tack. I have to check my GPS and chart here. I think we're good. This will be fun. See two, maybe three boats. Good place to stop.
We'll see what dreadnoughts. I believe it's dreadnought. What they do? They may decide to push up here or keep going. They have an engine, I believe, so it wouldn't be hard for them. Neat little uh, compound, I guess, with no fence. <laughs> Got its watery island fence. What a place. Oh my goodness, look at that. that but uh, sounds like Texas 200 boats are holding the barges back they want they want to respect them and let them get to port they think they're going to Port O'Connor they might well be because they're in the ICW obviously interesting here we are hidden pass hidden pass a couple of boats on the back side three of them Yeah, they're going somewhere. Here's Squirt for the night. I'll get that sail down in a minute. Here's my neighbors, the Windriders. They can go anywhere, do anything they want. They rule. <laughs> they are great boats. Great boats. And right oh. here, we have three little boats. Get it somewhere. Look at that. Oh, he's just run afoul of the bottom. I can't name all these boats. Boy, that one's just clipping along. Those mayflies are incredible. 